Hello everyone, so I'm about to go walking in Balboa Park, which is located in San Diego in California, and I want to take all of you guys with me. So I have all of my lovely bags sitting out here, and I'm going to go ahead and put one that matches my outfit so I have something to wear while we walk. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wear this one. So this one is super cute. And it matches my pants. Look at how adorable that is. All right, I got my bag, so let's go. Balboa Park is one of the most famous tourist sites in San Diego and spans an impressive 1,200 acres. The park is known for its different cultural elements and is made up of museums, historic buildings, gardens, theaters, and even a zoo. So this is the Spreckles Organ Pavilion and it was donated to the park in 1914 and it is the largest outdoor pipe organ in the world. There's over 5,000 pipes. So every Sunday there is a civic organist that plays for Concerts. You can see there's a lot of seating for people right here and it's closed right now so you can't see the organ but normally that little space in the middle comes up and you can see the organ inside for the concert. Balboa Park is a super popular place for a lot of different vendors and food trucks and buskers. People will be outside playing their guitars or their other musical instruments, and it's really a vibrant place for community. It's also a really popular place for photographers because it offers so much variety with different locations throughout the park. This little wooded area here is a really popular spot for photographers because you get this cool looking jungle theme in the middle of the city. Alright, so this is one of the most popular spots for photography in Balboa Park and it is a Moreton Bay fig tree. It has huge roots that are really fun to take pictures like with people posed inside of them. Um, and this tree is over a hundred years old. Popular spot for photographers. A lot of the times they'll have their models like stand in the roots like this and it makes for really cool images. So this is a really unique spot. They also have a clock tower that likes to play holiday songs during the holidays and I actually caught one on film so here it is playing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer.
towards the very far end of the park, you'll run into the Botanical Building, which is actually the most famous photographed building in the park. Um, it also, in front of it, there's a pond called Lily Pond, and it was built in 1915 for the Panama California Exposition. So annually, there's plantings of water lilies and lotus flowers. There's, it's also home to a lot of ducks. <laughs> So this botanical building has over 2,000 plants inside of it. We didn't get to go in today, but you can see the outside of it looks pretty cool. This is also one of the most popular spots for buskers in the park. We came across a magician and someone playing a guitar. So this is another very popular spot. This is the B. Evanson Fountain. Um, don't mind my finger, I couldn't see because the sun was shining in my eyeballs. Uh, this is a very popular spot for tourists and people petitioning or people with vendors. Um, a lot of people were set up with baked goods and things like art prints. It was super cool to see. The height of the fountain also varies as well. You can see it's a little bit shorter now. And this place is sandwiched between the Air and Space Museum and the Natural History Museum. So this park also has a lot of places um, to go and see historical things as well. So this garden is actually located across from the main park. You get to it by going over the bridge that way. Yay, there's the bridge so you can see what I'm talking about. And the garden also has the biggest cactus plants in the park. There's a really cool scenic overview in this part of the park. This is also great for photography as well. There I am taking a panorama. <laughs> Here's another squirrel buddy. Thank you. 
thanks so much for joining me on my walk to Bobo today. It was super fun and I enjoyed showing you all the different